Hi Luke, congratulations. Welcome to Nashville. So one of the things, especially with defensemen, you mentioned Shea Weber, but is there anyone that you really modeled your game after uh, while you were growing up or just a defenseman in the NHL that you kind of looked up to? Um, yeah, growing up was a lot of Shea Weber. Um, kind of as I grew older, though, I started looking at guys who uh, maybe aren't aren't as noticeable. Um, they kind of they kind of go under the radar with the extra kind of things they do. So guys kind of like Brandon Carlo on Boston, um, Justin Hall in Toronto, kind of those two players I, I modeled over the past two or three years now. Luke, playing in the WHL, obviously a lot of travels involved in that too because it's such a big lead re league regionally. What's that experience been like for you playing in the WHL, especially as a defenseman? There's a lot of big bodies in the W, but a lot of travel involved. And how do you think that helps prepare you for becoming a pro and dealing with things in the W? Yeah, I mean, my personal opinion, it's the hardest out of the three leagues to play in because of the travel and because I, I find it more of a more of a physical brand of hockey in an older league. Um, but I think when I was when I was 14 years old, I got drafted to Calgary, um, and then when I turned 15, I had the ability to play um, 14 games with them, kind of as an underage because of they had some they had some defensemen go to World Juniors and stuff. So um, that was probably one of the biggest things that helped me in my career because I kind of got a jump start on everyone else on, on how the pace of play is and, and how strong and tough the guys are. So, um, you know, I was really I was really happy that I got to be able to do that. And then over the past couple of years, um, I've just kind of had to adjust in my game a little bit um, because of because of the speed of the players and the strength of, of some guys around the league. So um, I think I think it's that was this was the best uh, league for me to play in to become a National Hockey League defenseman. Yeah, just looking at him in the, in the scouting reports, and now he's six four and well over two hundred pounds. Is this kind of the future of what you want to see defensemen as being able to have big bodies, but still being able to be very mobile, as the scouting reports say on him? Well, I think that's the key nowadays because of such fast, quick uh, forwards. Uh, if you don't have the mobility, you just can't have that big, tall, stiff guy anymore. Like you have to have a kid that can join the rush and uh, take the game at a fast pace. That's kind of if you can get that, that's a home run. So obviously just looking at, for instance, elite prospects, not as many reports on him as well. Do you think this is one of those guys that could be one of those gems that was projected to maybe go in the later rounds, but you're able to get here in the third? Yeah, exactly. I, I think we, uh, we've always liked him. Uh, he's one of them guys that you didn't get a lot of attention. Uh, sometimes it's funny how that goes. Uh, they had a, a lot of defensemen on his team so he was kind of in the third pair but or uh, second pairing but this year uh, he'll be their top defenseman probably at least one or two so i think everybody thought they could sneak him in exactly what you're saying maybe later third uh early fourth but we needed to fill a role and i think he's uh, a perfect fit